Okay, a couple of days ago, you may have seen a video that I uploaded, which was a review of this USB microscope. And in that video, I was actually quite unhappy and I was under the impression that this microscope was only a 0.3 megapixel sensor. Since then, I have discovered that I'm wrong. So confession is good for the soul. I'm afraid I was wrong about this microscope. It is in fact genuinely a two megapixel microscope. Don't really even know what went wrong. I think I may have loaded the wrong drivers or allowed Windows to override the drivers. But when I dug down into the CD, which was supplied with it, I found there's a driver folder on there. When I installed that driver and forced Windows to accept this driver rather than the default native Windows driver, I've got a microscope that is capable of two megapixel non-interpolated image capture. So. I have to apologise to anybody who got the wrong impression about this microscope and I apologise to the manufacturers and suppliers for my misleading comments. I've taken down that video. You can see the unboxing part of it at the end of this video. So what are my impressions of this microscope now? The image quality actually at 2 megapixels is, is really rather good now. So I've discovered that I can take high resolution images. Depth of field is really, really short, but that's normal for a microscope. So we'll have a look at the output of this in a minute. I'll put some still shots of various things up on the screen before the unboxing part of this video. The bit I'm still a bit unhappy about is the stand. The stand is just a bit wobbly and plasticky and, and really not all that brilliant. It tries very hard, but I am finding that there's you can, you can see the play in the mechanism there, that when you're actually adjusting the thing, it's very difficult to keep it focused on the thing that you want to see while you're adjusting the fine focus there. So not really very happy about the stand, but the microscope itself is rather good. So I think what we'll do at some point in the future, I will build myself a custom stand for this with fine adjustment so that I can get, get it finely focused on the things I want to look at. So there we go. Probably all in all, not bad value for money now that I know it is capable of the 2 megapixel resolution. So quite happy to recommend this now, as long as you understand that the stand is a bit of a limitation and you do have to kind of baby it a little bit while you're adjusting the focus. Okay, product review time. This parcel has arrived from China. It's from banggood.com. This is not a sponsored review. I bought this with my own funds. Let's see what we've actually got in this parcel today. It is a USB digital microscope. At least I hope it's a USB microscope. I see we've got several different models on the box here. I presume that's just multi-purpose packaging. So yes, it doesn't say which type this is, but I think I've bought the USB 2 version. Let's have a look at, and see what we've got in the box. So it comes as a kit of parts, but that's just fine. So we've got software. That's the stand. vertical pole. There aren't any instructions for fixing this together, but it is, I suppose, fairly self-explanatory. Yeah, that winds up and down for fine tuning. That's for coarse tuning. That goes into that socket there. There's like a little collet there that grips the bottom of the, the bottom of that shaft. Okay, and here is the microscope itself. So, Sort of soft, 
sort of soft touch plastic, which I don't really like. And that's the magnification dial. So it looks like it's got continuous zoom on the magnification, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, and we also get this, which is I'm not really sure what that is. It's a oh, it's a calibration device. Oh, okay, that's quite useful. We'll have a look at that first when we get the software installed, and we'll see what it's like. So let's hope this software is compatible with Windows 10 because that's what I'm going to be trying to install it on. Wish all the users can observe the objects easily and enjoyable when using the microscope. Well, I hope so too. So let's get the software installed and then we'll give this a trial run. Okay, so slight change of plan here actually. I'm going to see if I can just install this without any additional drivers. I'm going to see if the Windows native drivers will support it because after all it's just a webcam really isn't it and it's got a widget on here for controlling the the led illumination so and that's manual so i think i might be right in saying it doesn't require any additional drivers so let's give it a go capture source Oh, and there it is. So there we go. So other things can definitely see this. Let's take that little lens cap off now and have a look at, only in handheld mode, obviously, the keycaps on my computer. Oh my gosh, that's filthy. The image seems slightly over sharpened, I would say. So let's see what happens. Well, that was at the minimum level of zooming. Right, let's get this set up as a microscope and then we'll try yeah so it needs to be closer to focus okay right so it looks like we don't need any special software this thing can handle the uh, can handle it just fine using Windows native drivers. So again, this is this is found the device. So the Windows 10 native camera app seems to be able to handle this device. So next thing I think to do is I'll go and get some subjects, some some things we can actually look at nice and close, and we'll get an idea of how good this is for practical purposes. Okay, so my subject material is going to be this maple leaf and this little daisy. So let's have a look first at the daisy. So I'm just going to take the stalk off and place it there. Oops, on the, on the microscope. I probably should use a slide or something, but never mind. And then we'll try to focus. This is at maximum magnification now, so we're going to try to focus on parts of that flower. So thanks for watching. Apologies once again for having misled you in my previous video, which is now taken down. And I hope to see you again soon.